More than 128 million Pakistanis are registered to vote in the February 8 general elections. Many are struggling to make ends meet. The first problem they should solve is inflation. Utility bills are really high. Inflation is backbreaking. Prices are nearly 30 percent higher than a year ago. Slow economic growth and a crushing external debt burden have pushed millions into poverty. A $3 billion lifeline that the International Monetary Fund threw to Pakistan last July runs out in March. Pakistan has faced problems, but not to this extent. We have almost uh, stopped short of bankruptcy. So therefore, it's very important that after, as a result of this election, a government should come which is able to handle the economy, economic challenges. A Gallup opinion poll released this week shows 70 percent Pakistanis lack trust in elections. One of the country's most popular political figures, former Prime Minister Imran Khan, is disqualified from running for office. Just days before the polls, court sentenced the jail leader to years in prison for corruption, mishandling state secrets and illicit marriage. Khan rejects the charges as politically motivated. Deprived of its iconic election symbol, the bat, his Pakistan Tehreek-e Insaf party, or PTI, has struggled to campaign freely in public and online. Much of its top leadership is either in jail or in hiding, as the party is facing a crackdown since Khan's supporters stormed military facilities last year in May to protest his arrest. A lot of people are supporting that party. So how will that play out after the election, whether a government will be able to be formed and whether there will be some political stability or uh, because of this reason that a party has been deprived of its symbol, there will be some protest, etc. after the election. Three-time former Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif is the frontrunner. Known for launching mega development projects, Sharif never completed a full term in office. It's hard to tell who the right person is. I am still looking for the right candidate to vote for, the right person for our future, for the well-being of our children. Whoever wins will walk a tightrope with Pakistan's military, the country's most powerful institution. Sara Zaman, VOA News, Lahore, Pakistan.